Israel quickly condemned a ruling from the European Union's top court that products from the so-called West Bank cannot carry the Made in Israel label. The indication of origin of the products originating in Israeli settlements must be correct and not misleading to the consumer. Reaction was swift and widespread. Danny Danone, Israel's UN ambassador, saying this is another example of Europe continuing its surrender to Israel's enemies. The EU's discrimination against the Zionist enterprise will provide legal cover for anti-Semitism. Israel strongly rejects the recent ruling of the European Court of Justice, which has one aim and one aim only, and that is to signal out Israel and to apply double standards against it. Expressing deep concern, the U.S. State Department said the ruling suggested anti-Israel bias. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu credited Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for providing clarity, something Europe clearly failed to do. As Europe the other day decided to act against Israel uh, and against uh, and to uh, put uh, labels on uh, products that are made here. Uh, they don't join exactly the sanctions against Iran. They join sanctions against Israel. Unbelievable. PLO's Hanan Ashwari welcomed the labeling decision as a first step. We believe the, the, the real thing that should happen, uh, the only just thing, is not to import these uh, settlement products and produce in the first place. Professor Gerald Steinberg of the NGO Monitor condemned the decision calling it a gateway drug towards boycott, divestment and sanctions. Israel Gantz, head of the group governing the Israeli settlements, doesn't believe the ruling will hurt businesses. The product here is of high standards. Everyone wants to produce, Jews and Arabs. There is demand in the markets and therefore, besides this miserable decision, I hope and estimate there will be no impact. Boycotts of Israeli companies in the West Bank often backfire hurting Palestinians more than the intended targets. Case in point, SodaStream. CBN News has documented the company's success and its employment of some 500 Palestinians, paying them four times the salary likely provided by Palestinian employers. Attacked for years by the BDS movement, SodaStream eventually moved